guys and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because I am working with her nest company yet again. I showed you guys a couple of vlogs ago this beautiful, beautiful chair that they sent me that's now seated in the office in the front of the home. I have yet to decide how I wanted to design this. I did go through the comments. A few people told me to move the chair in front of the window or was it a table in front of the window i gotta go back through it you guys all in all i absolutely love the chair it has gotten so much use since we have unboxed it and put it together i'll have that vlog linked in the description box in case you guys want to check this out but like i said it's from the same exact company that i'm working with today hey guys so this is a wine pantry cabinet that is super, super affordable. It retails for like $500, but they're having a glass sale. So you can pretty much get this for half off. I'm literally gonna just take everything out. Ooh, let me show y'all what it looks like. And per usual, I'm going to attempt to put this together without needing the help of my man. Um, it seemed in the video, I mean, like in the picture that I looked like off the website. Oh Lord, God. I feel like I'm about to break a nail. They got this thing packaged up real good. So, okay. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all, they got this thing packaged all the way up. OMG. Oh my God. Should I take the Oh, uh, uh, you guys, I'm struggling. Hold on. Uh, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is not as easy as I thought. And I think it's because I feel like I'm about to break a nail at any second. I think I hear Jeremy outside. I may have to summon him. Okay, there we go. I think I got it out. I think we got it. I think we did it. I think we did it. Okay, so the problem now is that I'm in the office room and this baby will be located in the dining room. But there's so much. Yep, that's babe. Yep, there's so much furniture in that dining room area. So I'm like, it will be so much easier to get it together in here. Hey y'all, so it's the next day and babe is almost done putting our nice new piece together. I didn't realize it was literally almost done. So once he's done putting it all the way together and I'll come back, I'm actually cooking dinner. Let me show y'all what I'm cooking. Oh, I cannot wait y'all, I'm about to buy me some nice wine bottles. Yeah, I have my, um, you can hear it, let me make some my meat and meat. I had almost started doing my little paste thing I was about to make. And then I noticed that, um, Johnny and Johnny supposed to be doing their work and they're not doing it. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Girl, it's always an excuse with you. No, Mommy, I have to go. Okay, Angel, go ahead, sweet pie. Yeah. My mama doing Me homework with Jane. Must. Must. Me. You guys, her nest company literally gets it right. Every single time, like I literally love the quality of their furniture. It is just absolutely perfect. And this goes with our current home decor. So I'm just really, really, really excited. So right here, I believe, y'all, you already know I'm not even a drinker, but I think this is like where you put the wine bottles. Y'all gotta help me out. I don't know what, what we put right here, but I'm gonna have this thing decked out. I'm gonna order a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon. Oh yeah, the, so some of the wine bottles can go down there. So some of my favorite ones that aren't in the wine chiller or a little mini fridge thing that we have, we can go ahead and put that down there for hosting. And then we just got plenty of space. Um, I think that he just has like a little bit left to put on there. It looks 
It's a monster two-man job. <laughs> but they have really detailed instructions. So it's not that I couldn't do it, but like I said, it was just much easier to get the help. I'm trying to see if there's like an inside picture that would like show. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, is he done? Is he done? Oh, it looks like this on the side, whatever this is. Oh, like some built-in drawers. Oh, that's going to be really cute. Oh, okay, so I see like this probably goes on the side and it gets drilled in right there. So that's going to be a nice little cubby for like the little our tea bags and all the other good stuff, y'all. But y'all, like I said, stay tuned so you all can see how this is decorated. Her nest, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. I want you guys to go to my description box, click the link and check out this. You can check out this product right here. Like I said, you can check out this couch and so many other different things that they have on their website, as well as a coupon code to get you a nice discount off of everything. And yeah, so I'll see you for the rest of the video. Hey y'all, I literally just got out of Pilates. Great class today. Um, we did abs and biceps, so great class. Anyways, I'm on my way home. Today is Friday, and I start my morning off really good. Excuse me. I typically don't get on social media, um, or I, let me let me not lie. I, sometimes I get on social media. Sometimes I don't. I guess it really just depends on the day. But I'm not really overly consumed with social media you guys know how some people are like truly invested in other people's lives and like every single aspect of every little thing like i've never been that type of person like i just i don't know i, I think i'm different like i don't be caring about people's lives too much especially people who i don't know like i'm not gonna just be checking in for people seeing especially like in a negative like frame of mind some people have good intentions like they genuinely support people so they want to see what they're doing just kind of like how daily vlogs work like people who watch people's vlogs for a lot um like as people vlog their life but like on instagram and stuff like that all that drama all that foolishness like i think stuff be going over my head one thing in particular this week y'all is the Nicki minaj and meg the stallion stuff like it is getting out of control it is completely out of control. That's just me. But I saw the Nicki Minaj stuff and I saw, I don't know the truth to stuff. Like people saying they was going to go to Meg the Stallion's mom's grave site. And just a whole bunch of foolishness when I woke up. But I went on Shea Room and I don't know. Hold on. I don't know the extent. Hold on. I was posting something in my story. And I didn't finish of what I don't know the extent of what the drama was about but I saw the tail end of the message from the shade room by the time this is posted it's gonna probably be long gone and I don't even know who this is to be honest I have to I had a I think this is Rick Ross is this Rick Ross in the picture Christina Mackey responds to the negative comments about her new teeth I don't know nothing about her teeth I could care less but the message that she was oh I love my teeth Sharing y'all. Get to the park, girl. Love my teeth. <laughs> I'm so happy. My baby, I told my baby. I want my teeth done. He got it done the same. I day. think that's Rick Ross, ain't it? But what I was gonna say was when you're negative and when you allow your fingers to type negative words and say negative things to people, this. you're opening up a door for yourself to attract negativity to you. Right. Even if you don't recognize it right away, even if you don't see it happen, something negative happen, wishing on anybody's downfall or just saying anything negative about anything, whether it be you don't like this about me, you don't like that about her, you don't like this, you don't like that. You're opening up the door for people to be negative to you. Don't be that kind of person. Be the kind of person that puts out beautiful energy and watch what you get back, because despite what y'all may think, I've been receiving so much. Oh, I love my teeth. Love. Now, y'all, y'all gotta go watch the whole slide. It's just, I guess, hashtag Christina Mackey. Look at this hashtag and see the whole three thing. 
but when I say like I wasn't even going to watch this thing because I saw the teeth thing like I said sometimes I click it and then I just scroll past it because I'm I'm not really into stuff that be going on so I'd be like I can't even understand what's going on so let me not even listen to this but something had, and my phone was on mute and something had told me to click the comments and I saw you know sometimes it shows you like people who you follow and their comments to it so I saw a few people who I follow and they were just and then I saw um tiny head comments she was like I love the spirit on her oh that it, it, it is Rick Ross Rick Ross gonna get tired of her talking so much what is he what are they talking about what are you saying like Rick Ross gonna get tired of her talking so much. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the backstory of all of that. But as far as this message right here, this message hits the. What is the saying? This hits it right on the nose. That's the saying. This message right here hits it right on the nose. When I tell you, there is no person alive who is in a position of greatness and positivity and going places that they um like evolving from where they were before that has time to be so invested with other people oh, I, that's the part i really want to play that's the part it was i think it's on the second slide hold on I, i'm gonna have to play the whole thing y'all have i been receiving love from outside of my house but from inside of my house and inside of when i say house i'm talking about me how i feel about me Right? I'm getting up in the morning. I'm working out. I'm drinking my water. That's I'm minding my business. My skin is clear. That's I me. Got all over my... <laughs> but my skin is clear. No, but seriously, I feel good. Listen to her. I want to do things. I have energy. All that doesn't come from me just sitting on the internet being weird and negative all day. You know? When you have time to be negative, you have too much time on your Too head. much time. So let's find a way too to shake that much off. And even if time. it was you and if you were being negative, it's okay to catch yourself and be like, I was low-key hating. Let me switch the flow. Please you know, tell okay, a girl. Split -flop, yeah. You're allowed to grow. Please tell you're a girl. You're allowed to grow. You're allowed this to is what I need y'all to hear. And you're allowed to just enjoy your life. Nothing Ooh. anybody does in their life should bother you if it's not only have I been receiving love from outside of my house. Y'all, that, that right there, you are allowed to grow. Some of y'all ain't growing. Some of y'all ain't growing. It ain't enough time in the world. I, in my 30 years on this earth, have never, ever, ever had enough time in the world to be it invested into negativity were y'all i said for myself for me to be in such a low position and openly be able to live in that truth for me to be in a low position and have people have so much power and control over my energy because of their negativity and me take back that control and me take back that power and say you know what the only person who can have this much authority and conviction over my life is God himself if it's not God I don't want it if it's not God I don't want it I'm not gonna focus on what anybody else is doing or saying or how they're moving because if I focus on God and God alone he's gonna make sure that I can I continue to climb the mountains that I need to climb So I am, hold on y'all, I didn't got my freaking light. Y'all see how much this changes the thing? But anyways, I am at my lip filler appointment. I have not gotten lip fillers in a while. Hold on y'all, my freaking camera. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the... Okay, hold on, let me film all of it. Were you who I was DMing? I know. It was the 12. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So this is just a numbing cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's make 
sure it's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I'm looking like. So yeah, they hit me up and was like, girl, it's been like, hold on y'all. They hit me up and was like, girl, it's been like two years. You need to come back for your appointment. And I was like, okay, why not? So this is the process of getting the lips numb and Y'all already know I have a very low pain tolerance, so I'm not even gonna lie, getting lip fillers does hurt, but it's not as bad as waxing, lasering, and all of that, so it's definitely doable, and it lasts for about, the whole process, it's not even that long, it's not even that long, so it's definitely doable. The numbing does help for sure, but what I will say is I've gotten lip fillers from another company before. I did not like their technique of how my lips look after and it did not last. So I did not like that. This company right here is based in the UK. So they fly all the way down here and they partner with different, um, I actually, I need to ask them if they're permanently like have a place here. Um, I'll get back to you guys with that information. But when I came here, well, I didn't come to this specific spot. I was at the Midtown location last time because, like I said, they partner with different um, beauty salons every time they fly down here. And I, I got so many freaking compliments on my lip fillers, and I recommended them to so many different people. So your girl is going to definitely recommend them. And I would want to make sure I preface showing you guys the procedure and all that by saying I'm not telling anyone to go out there and get injections fillers or anything like that this is my prerogative this is something i chose to do so i'm doing and i keep it at a minimum i'm not going to overdo it and i do not go and do follow-ups every six months um like some people are recommended to do um so yeah i feel my lips already moving oh my god you guys oh my gosh but yeah so i'm gonna sit here and then they'll probably hold the camera because i got so much going on as an influencer they be wanting you to get this content from them i'm an ambassador by the way but they be wanting you to get this content from them and i'm like i got my camera i got my phone my lips are freaking numb as crap oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh, oh my gosh. but anyways y'all i'll see y'all when the needles come out So this is me immediately after getting the fillers and y'all my lips now have that little parted thing that's a part of like the filters if you do like the little filters on Instagram or whatever my lips immediately just naturally part themselves you guys see but this is not the final look so for those who do not know anything about fillers please 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 just like any surgery or any enhancement or anything artificial nine times out of ten there is some form of swelling or some form of healing because you're creating a trauma to the body and the natural response is for blood to shoot to that area and for it to swell to protect the cells i sound so official when i'm saying that but seriously you guys so um my lips are extremely swollen this is not the final look you guys see my vlogs in real life but i don't vlog every day anymore so honestly by the time y'all see the next vlog i should be pretty much 80 percent um healed because this is gonna come out next wednesday today i'm getting this done saturday um so the next vlog after that will be probably that monday and i should be well over seven to however many days post fillers hey guys so it is tuesday happy tuesday i'm leaving pilates i'm about to take my cmos black seed oil ashwagandha and burdock root that i told you guys i started taking this wasn't it new year's day i remember distinctly showing you guys me taking this new year's day or could have been like maybe the day before but this is supposed to be well this was highly raved on tiktok supposed to provide a lot of energy i'm still taking my daily naps i've decided that maybe i'm just a nap girl and i just need a nap shout out to my mom i've never seen my mom take a nap in my entire life no matter what her work schedule is you're the bomb girl because i don't know how you do it i just do not know how my mama does it even when she at my house i feel like mom about to take a nap real quick i'm like you don't want to lay down and take a nap she be like girl no i'm like girl like that is i just don't even understand it now some days i can push through but for the most part i just can't I had to bring this with me y'all 
And my lips are looking good. They're healing. Still got some bruising. Still got some bruising, but it's going down. I, when I was in my Pilates class, see, they didn't look at me like I'm crazy because they know about the bruised lips when you get filler. But I was around some black people yesterday and that was like, you could just tell. And I wanted to be like, oh, I just got lip filler. <laughs> I don't know, like, I just got lip filler. But they was like, where was I at? I can't even dang on remember, y'all. I think oh, I was in the store. Every aisle I walked down, people saw me like they're looking in there do a double take like I got punched in my mouth or something. But when I was just around these uh, the white girls, they were just, oh, just know she got filler. Just talking to me regularly. Like, it's a, no a normal day for them. But I found that to be funny but i love how they're healing i literally i love it 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 my battery is at 18. nail appointment I guess this is gonna be like a maintenance vlog I definitely think I'm gonna move forward we're coming to this salon it's out here in West Midtown used to live out here in West Midtown love the area oh, the sun is behind me I hate when that happens but there's so many different all I'm thinking about is the future y'all and bringing my little ones out here having a mommy and me nail day okay y'all hold on the sun is coming up the sun is coming up but um yeah and then going to like one of these restaurants over here going shopping like it's really really nice up here y'all already know everybody is migrating to atlanta which is great for me because i'm a real estate agent and i can serve all of you guys and by the way if you guys are looking to purchase a house then please hit me up if you need credit repair, I am onboarding clients every single day as we speak. And my services are top notch. Just so honored. I gotta always. Oh, nobody. I don't got no ticket on my car. Well, I did the little validate parking thing, but the meter was broken. So I'm pretty sure they don't even care about anyone's car. Okay, y'all. I ended up at Ulta and not Sephora because Sephora was playing games. Try out a foundation, not that I need one because I just literally bought one. But why not? This is my right color, y'all. Pretty close, yeah. I think that's a good color. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Yep, once you blend it out really good, you know, and put the rest of your face on. Yeah, I think so Perfect. too. Yes. Look y'all. Two. Oh, because y'all got to pull them now? Yes. Y'all must have some stealing going on. Uh, some. <laughs> oh, a lot? A lot. Really? Yeah, because I don't know what they were doing. These crooks were coming in here just taking? Just taking what they want. Just taking what they want. Y'all had to break out the other week. Now I got a fucking dark mark. Y'all supposed to be just doing a freaking. This literally looks like skin. Like you can't even really have that. Y'all. Uh, first of all, this foundation right here, I can't wait for it to get here. They gave me a sample though, so I think I have to do my makeup this week, but they said it should be here between two to three days. You see it? What color card do you have? Uh -huh. Oh, you see it over there? Okay. She was oh, looking confused. But anyway, oh, y'all, my eyes been burning. And I'm tearing up. There we go. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, this foundation. This foundation. But anyways, y'all.
<laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> y'all thought I was serious. Okay. Seriously. That's that acting in me, y'all. Y'all know. Oh, Lord. But on the way to go get the girls down. Then I got some work to do at the house. This foundation. And it's not like the crazy part about it is this foundation is not all over my skin. Not it's definitely not. Really Hold on. Uh, it was coming out of my old Eleanor. Basically, they said, oh, it's like, a true okay, crime story right quick. Okay. But, um, but let me show, let me share with y'all real quick, real quick, how I got into makeup. So, I did pageants and cheerleading and stuff when I was in middle school, high school. One thing about it though, my dad did not like that whole makeup thing. So when I competed in pageants, he preferred me to only do non-beauty-ish pageants and to focus, oh my gosh, I only got five minutes left, so I gotta wrap this up real quick. Um, To not do beauty pageants, did I go the wrong way? Yes, I did. I gotta do a U-turn. And to, oh no, I didn't, perfect. And to, um. Pretty much he didn't like me. Y'all know the the um, beauty pageants y'all typically think of. Full glam, the girls with the fake teeth in there even when they're young, like all of that. He didn't like that. So I did the, I did, I can't remember all the pageants, but the main pageant I do remember is like National American Miss. I competed in that twice. Um, gla um, Glamour Girls, and then a few others I can't remember. So anyways, so I didn't really get to dibble and dabble into makeup and all that. <sighs> Then, right before high school started, remember I told y'all I was excited for high school because I was about to find me a nice, fine young man. I surely was, y'all. I was like, oh, I'm about to find me a fine young man, y'all. I gotta tell y'all the high school stories. But anyways, so, right before school started, a couple of months before school started, I had already graduated middle school or got promoted or whatever, did my little ceremony from eighth grade. And I remember going to a hair salon, and by the way, my mom now goes back to the hair salon, full circle. But anyways, so I remember being at the hair salon, it was getting late, so we was there, my, my mom and my daddy kept us in that hair salon faithfully every two weeks. We was at that beauty salon faithfully, when they had the little pictures of the one, two, three, four, five, six, y'all know what I'm talking about, and you picked the number you wanted. Yes, back in that time. So I was at the hair salon, and I was in there for a while, and then I ended up looking up and it was this little red bone, little light skin boy. Well, he was in middle, high school. Yeah, he was a boy, 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 he was a teenager. And then we get to talking a little bit because he was telling me I was attractive and you know, oh, you you real pretty, blah, 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 can I get your number? And um, he was like, what school you go to? And I was like, oh, I'm actually about to start high school. I'll be going to Frederick Douglass. He was like, where? I go to Frederick Douglass. Well, he said Doug, but I always say Frederick Douglass. He's like, where? I go to Doug. And I was like, really? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. He's like, yeah, I'm a sophomore up there, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward, he developed a huge crush on me, y'all. Like even, like, your girl is pretty, of course, but I got a bomb ass personality. So, you know, I'm just being me and he starts really liking me. So I'm like, I can't just tie myself up before the school year start. Y'all, I love my high school stories. <laughs> I was like, I can't, oh, I'm gonna run out of freaking space telling y'all this. But, um, no, I think I don't, I think I just been vlogging for five minutes. I think, yeah, cause I just cleared some stuff out. But anyways, y'all, so I'm like, um, I can't tie myself up before the school year starts because I don't want nobody, I don't want to go into high school already having a man. I'm single, and I don't think I even had a boyfriend in eighth grade. I think, no, I think I talked to this gangster boy, this, um, and he was in a gang. <laughs> Shamar, if you watching this, what's up, Shamar? With the tall tees. I was always into the bad boys, y'all. But anyway, so I think I only talked to one boy in my eighth grade year. I had a boyfriend in seventh grade, I had a boyfriend in sixth grade, boyfriend in fifth grade, and I didn't have no man boy boyfriend in eighth grade pretty much the whole time. So when I'm about to go to high school, I'm like, uh uh, you ain't about to hold me down. And um No, it says I have two minutes. What's going on? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know y'all probably eating y'all popcorn trying to hit a story and I keep stopping y'all. So anyways, 
I was like, well, we can still talk, you know. I didn't really tell him I don't want to be tied down. I kind of just was like, you know, I'm not really interested in nobody, blah, blah, blah. But he was on your girl hard, y'all. Because especially when I told him, like, oh, I'm going to try for cheerleading. He was like, oh, yeah, you're going to be a great flyer. And I can just see them throwing you up in the air. They, and then my name is Keisha. Keisha was, like, one of the most popular names you could have when you're in high school. When I tell you everybody, all the Keisha songs was out during that time. So he used to love to call me, text me the little Keisha. Y'all, I got to delete some stuff. Hold on. Let me be back. Let me be back. Oh, we back. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna call him, and I'm actually still following him on Instagram. We, we're still cool to this day. But we're gonna call him, um, oh, what are we gonna call him? Bert. We're gonna call him Bert. So Bert had a sister who's also very, very popular. She was going to be a senior when I was a freshman. And so he introduced me to his, his sister. He introduced me to his mom. Like, I'm telling you, he really liked me. And, um, his sister, we gonna call her um, M. So M was trying out to be like the captain of the dance team. She actually had, she was running from Miss Douglas. Like she was really popular, well liked. Oh, this is his sister. So I'm like, ooh, like I wanna dance, I wanna cheer. Like I need to be getting in good with his sister. Like she can introduce me to all the other senior um athlete like cheerleaders dancers like this is good plus i was doing pageants so his sister actually started coming over and she gave me one of my dance routines for one of my first i mean not my first pageant but one of my pageants that, that i was in for national american men so she was coming over throughout the summertime it was slick like we was dating because like i said y'all know when there's blurred lines when you say you not with somebody but you acting like you with somebody but you know like what men be doing and they want that like they want to keep you around but they don't want to tie like they don't want to be tied down to you that's what i was doing y'all that's what your girl was doing <laughs> to burp i was doing that to burp but anyways <laughs> back to how i got into makeup so anyways his mom did like like she um she was like a nurse for like some really really rich white people and i remember one time she was taking me to go run some errands because remember his sister what did i say i was calling her m she um that's how i know i'm not a good liar because i can't even keep like when you don't when, when you're not telling the truth it's like hard to keep up with yourself people who be lying all the time they know how to just do it like that but me i can't even do it but anyways so m had been teaching me the stuff so his mom like i said they love me she was trying to take me to like run some errands right before my pageant was gonna start and um she had to go stop at her job once and she was telling me about this this client that was rich beautiful house and buckhead and i ain't never seen nothing like that y'all because i'm from the inner city of atlanta i'm from the swats baby if you didn't know zone four and um yeah so i never was around i mean my mom had some well off ish friends like that she used to work with before so i remember going to their house and i'm like oh my gosh they got huge houses and stuff like that she has so much designer makeup and i was like oh my gosh like just and it was a cut it was her pressed powder was my actual shade mind you she's a white woman but i guess when you bronze and blah 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 some of their tones would be my color because that's what they need to darken their cheeks but if i put it all over my face it's gonna just blend into my whole skin tone when I tell you, I put that whole thing on and I came walking out that bathroom with Bert's mama. Bert's mama's like, what you doing there, girl? I was like, she had some powder. And look, at, like when I tell you my skin was, and it was from Bare Minerals. It was from Bare Minerals. Mind you, your girl had her a little job. I can't remember where I was working, but I always kept me a job. As soon as I was of age to work, your girl always worked. So. I had me a little job and when I say I was at the bare minerals counter thank you thank you like I put everything out on that counter like when I tell you I was going crazy I was going crazy that's how I got into makeup from Bert's mama taking me to that house and I never was a makeup girl I was literally just eyeliner mascara lip gloss in middle school that's what I should have been anyways and my dad didn't like all that eyeliner stuff he said that was too much but you know my mama used to let me get away with it. So as long as I wasn't walking around acting fast and acting grown. So it's your prerogative. Whatever you want to do with your kids, you do with your kids. But when I tell you 
I love that look. And when I came home, my mom was like, girl, what you got on your face? My mom doesn't do makeup. So I'm like, oh, I got me this little powder from Bare Minerals. I thought Bare Minerals, when I tell you I was the Bare Minerals expert going into high school, I went on Google and, and Google everything there was to know. Nobody couldn't tell me Bare Minerals wasn't the best thing that ever happened. I thought Bare Minerals was for, like, I, I don't know. I was so fucking obsessed with Bare Minerals. Like, I just, I believe everything they were selling. When they put it on that TV, I was putting in my little numbers and ordering every look. Girl, I was ordering everything. Y'all, y'all know what else I ordered back then? I ordered, y'all remember Peter Popoff? If y'all used to watch TV back in the day, y'all know y'all watching later and Peter Popoff end up on the TV. I was even ordering Peter Popoff, y'all. I was ordering Peter Popoff trying to save my soul trying to save my soul and I shouldn't have did it because then boom guess what 10th grade now I'm dating a woman <laughs> nah. I was eating the salt crystals they were sending you the little bread you had to pay big money for that but I had a job my parents never asked me for a dollar so my money was my money and I was made that was a lot of money for my somebody 13 years old 14 years old like y'all that was crazy that was crazy that was crazy but let me tell y'all what ever happened to Bert like I said me and Bert cool I end up dating Bert's best friend yeah I end up dating Bert's best friend <laughs> I got into a relationship but the crazy part about it is before I started dating Bert's best friend I was talking to the brother y'all I gotta go live I, I forgot all about this side of me <laughs> to Bert's best I got into a relationship with Bert's best friend like they were best friends how do you like where ninth grade year imagine that me telling Bert this whole time I ain't looking for nobody I don't want to be with no man still you know keeping it cute whatever get into school and I start talking to his best friend but first I'm talking to the brother mind you remember they was in 10th grade remember they was in 10th grade so his best friend was in 10th grade with him then a couple of people who went to my middle school, like he was also cool with them because they had left before. Remember, remember Julian from the last vlog? Julian's best friend ended up going to Douglas. Did I say his name in the last vlog? Yeah, I think I did. Puerto Rican Poppy. Y'all gotta keep, catch up. Keep up, keep up. Puerto Rican Poppy went to Mays where I was supposed to go. I ended up going to Frederick Douglas with my sister because she was there and we got in, we had a if you're not zoned for that school, you can only get in from being in the magnet program. So we tested and got into the magnet program. <laughs> Puerto Rican Poppy's best friend. So I talk, see Puerto Rican Poppy could have just waited for me. Puerto Rican Poppy could have waited for me. I told you, I said I was just one year away. He couldn't even freaking wait. And your girl was looking good when I got to high school, y'all. Was looking good. So as good as a little girl could look. So, anyways, yeah. So Puerto Rican Poppy best friend. Um, uh, what's his name? I can't even remember his name. It's like off the top of my tongue. He had a twin sister and everything. Can't remember. Rico. Rico. So yeah, I ended up going there. Rico was actually cool with Bert. Rico was cool with Bert and a boy I ended up getting to the relationship with. Oh, y'all. But they was in 10th grade, so I remember I get there, Bert is like, oh y'all, this my um my 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 friend, my girl. And I'm like, no, I'm not in a relationship. I'm telling all the luck sophomore boys because you know all the sophomore boys at all the freshman girls lockers trying to see who who they could talk to and I was definitely one of the like when I tell you them boys y'all I'm just I'm not even being cocky like this is just in all seriousness when I tell you them mother freaking boys used to be at my locker every day like when I say they tried what they damn this but no then it was so crazy because Bert's best friend who I ended up getting to a relationship with his brother had a crush on me but remember I tell y'all I like the, the hard bad boys. Now, the, his best friend was not like a hard bad, bad boy, but he was edgy. He was edgy with the way he dressed. His brother was more like, I don't want to say proper, but he was very, like, he didn't have no edge about him. And, his, and they didn't even look alike. One was like my color and the other one was like... I don't want to say chocolate but like a darker brown a deeper brown of like look like coco jones color so they were and actually the brother was a little bit lighter than me and he was in my grade and i remember like you know when you get there all the boys trying to all the freshman boys also trying to get they did for the upper class and come down and try to talk to the girls and yeah his brother um had tried to talk to me he, he even he was writing me notes 
So he ended up asking me for my number. I gave him my number. I'm like, okay. So he texted me, and then I just knew after like the first conversation, like that wasn't gonna work. Tell me why. Y'all, I can't make this life up. Tell me why. I start, you know, chilling and trials come out. So now I gotta stay at the school because I'm trying to try for the chilling team. So I'm at the school and I see Bert with his best friend, but he wasn't standing with he was he was he wasn't standing by his best friend, he was in the same vicinity. And it was another football player who was like, oh kid, whatever the little Keisha songs was that was going on my freshman. It was so many going on throughout the whole high school. I can't remember which one was freshman year, but whatever that Keisha song was, he came over there like, oh, this Keisha, da 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 singing a little song. And I had looked and I was like, who was that? And he was like, oh him. And he was like, oh that's big. Um I'm just gonna say the damn name. He was like, that's Big Mike. And he just called him Big Mike. He wasn't big or nothing. Not to say nothing wrong with that, but I'm just telling y'all for the purpose of the story. So I was just, I just love the way he dressed. Like he just had like a unique style to him, y'all. And he had like a little pretty baby face with the waves. He had his earrings in. I was like, oh, he's so cute. So he saw me looking at him, and of course, what the heck? You're driving a little too close. He saw me looking at him. So, um, a lot was, some way or another, he ended up asking me for my number, and I gave him my number. Yo, why the heck I'm on the phone with him? And his brother come in the room talking about, oh, who you talking to? He was just like, um, this freshman, like this freshman girl, you are. No, he was like, you don't know her. And then he was like, just tell me who you talking to, bro. And I'm hearing a boy in the background, not even putting two and two together. And I'm just, hee 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 hee. So he was just like, who are you talking to? He was like, well, you may know her, she a freshman. And he was just like, um, they called me light skin Keisha because there was a lot of, and I know a lot of people are like that's so controversial because I'm not red bone or nothing, but there was a lot of La Keisha, Ty Keisha, My Keisha, the, all these other Keishas with a something in front of it. And I was just strictly Keisha, but I was just the lightest one of them all. So they just called me light skin Keisha. So he was like, yeah, light skin Keisha in ninth grade, um, trying out for the chilling team, da da da. And his brother was like, what the fuck, bro? And his brother was like, what? Um, she pretty as hell. And he was just like, he just walked out. And I was like, who is, I was like, who is that? And he was just like, don't worry, that's my brother Eli. I was like, I was like, you talking about light skin and nice grade? And he was like, yes, and I was describing him what he wore that day and everything. He was like, yeah, I said, that's your brother? And he was just like, yes. I was like, oh my gosh. So I was like, um, he was like, I don't even know why he mad. Uh, he got another little chick that he, he talking about, he like a lot. And I was like, I think I'm the girl. He was like, what? And I was like, yes, he wrote me a letter and like I gave him my number. I was like, I was on phone <laughs> a couple of days ago. <laughs> and the crazy part about it is, he, I don't want to say the brother name. E told the daddy about me and everything. Like, he was one of those. So he had told the daddy about me and everything. So come find out when it did a full circle and me and Mike got into a relationship, the daddy did not care for me at first. Cause he, he was like, this the girl who, the first high school girl who broke my little E's heart type of thing. And I'm like, I didn't even talk to him for real. Like I gave him my number and I had one conversation for a couple of minutes, like 10, 15 minutes tops. And I was like, yeah. Okay, I gotta go get ready for school tomorrow. And then that was that. Like, I didn't know this was this man's brother. Y'all, this was insanity. This was insanity. I got so many freaking high school stories, y'all. But maybe we gotta go live because I gotta tell y'all. I gotta tell y'all. Oh, shoot, y'all. I'm about to be late to pick up the girls. I'm about to be super late. We're not super late. Maybe about five minutes late. But um, I got so many high school stories, y'all. So many freaking high school stories. I don't. I know somebody was like, "Yeah, make a video. Make a video. Go live." I gotta figure out when I can go live because I want to see y'all reaction to the foolishness. <laughs> I want to see y'all's reaction to the foolish. It's fun telling y'all these stories and open it up about my past. And y'all don't judge me. Do not play these games because your girl. <laughs> Don't hold, charge that to the to my head and not to my heart, cause I did not know they were brothers, and I didn't, I didn't talk to the brother. I just gave him my number and we conversed for 15 minutes. Like that's not talking. It wasn't like we was talking every single day. I couldn't help that he had a big crush on me. Like I couldn't help that. Yeah, it was crazy. Then I was talking another guy. Like that's why everybody was so fucking mind blown when I started dating a girl, 
And it's like everybody's mind was so fucking blown. Cause they were like, how the hell she go from, like when I tell you, like I said, a lot of guys wanted to talk to me. I talked to two guys my freshman year. Um, y'all, y'all didn't want to, fresh, not, <laughs> Y'all, y'all don't even want to know who the other boy was that I talked to my freshman year. But I had, I broke it off with him. Y'all, I gotta go live. I gotta go, when, when we going live, I, y'all's mouth is going to fall to the mother freaking floor when y'all find out who the other boy was that I talked to my freshman year. We're actually in a relationship with. 